activists and the activists. You come from every corner of the world, every generation, and every walk of life. Friends, this is one effective, inclusive, networked multilateralism must look like. Four years ago, we began the process that brings us here today. And because we saw a world in trouble, torn apart by conflict and inequalities, threatened by climate chaos and unregulated technologies, with the sustainable development goals in theory, with many countries now nearly disastrous debt and the cost of living crisis, we saw our multilateral institutions aim and able to respond to contemporary challenges, let alone those of tomorrow. We saw face in multilateral solutions below the pool, and we saw trust in each other dissipated just when we needed it most. So we began a journey to reform, to renew the international system, so that it meets the moment and is fit for the future. We need multilateralism that is more inclusive, more effective, and more networked, with stronger links between international institutions and with the people. That means greater representation of developing countries, and it means a stronger voice for all of you and what you represent. This ambition was rooted in some clear truth. The world belongs to us all. People want the say in the decisions that affect them. And while governments have primary responsibility that we do not deny, we will not solve today's global problems without contributions from all of society, from civil society and young people, delivering change, promoting accountability, demanding better standing up for peace and justice, and using new technologies to organize for a better world. From business and finance, critical to combating the climate crisis and shaping our digital future for the benefit of all. From scientists, innovators and academics, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and developing solutions to the great challenges that we face, from anger and disease to online hate. Dear friends, over the past four years, the people in this room and your colleagues around the world participating in the most consultative process ever undertaken by the United Nations. We have seen a total of 1.5 million people from every one of our member states involved in discussions and consultations everywhere. And the civil society groups in putting into the pact for the future, the global digital contract and the declaration of future generations. And thousands of different contributions Together, you have pushed for vision and ambition, and I thank you for that. We have now three milestone texts that are on the table, which must open the door to changes our world in a way that it desperately needs. The pact for the future must lay the ground for reform. Reform of the outdated United Nations Security Council to make it more effective but also more representative of what the world is today. Reform of our international financial institutions so that they supercharge resources for sustainable development and for climate action. Reforms of the rules governing outer space, currently a chaotic free for all, and reform how we respond to complex global shocks and work together on peace and security. <laughs> On the other hand, the Global Digital Compact must be appropriate for closing digital divides and the first universal agreement on artificial intelligence, laying the foundations for a global platform centered everywhere that can bring all actors together. The Declaration on Future Generations must permit leaders to take tomorrow into account as they make decisions today and gender equality and human rights must weave through every aspect of those texts, reflecting the fact that they are fundamental to every area of life. Excellence, chers amis, les enjeux qui sont au cœur de ces textes, la justice, les droits, la paix et l'égalité, 
a mis le bon travail depuis des décennies et le pousse toujours à aller de l'avant. Je sais que l'on va de même pour beaucoup d'entre vous. Je n'abandonnerai pas et je sais que vous non plus. L'adoption de ces textes ne marquera pas la fin du parcours, mais plutôt un nouveau départ. Il nous incombera ensuite de donner vie à ces textes, de passer des mots à l'action et de les utiliser pour mettre l'humanité sur le meilleur point. Votre engagement, votre détermination et votre pression continue seront essentielles. Ce travail commence avec ces journées d'action. Nous sommes impatients de connaître vos idées et vos solutions sur, sur, sur ce que ces nouveaux cadres signifient pour vous et sur la manière dont, ensemble, vous pouvez contribuer à les mettre en œuvre. On ne ratera pas un multilatéralisme renouvelé du jour au lendemain, ni par les seuls gouvernements. Il sera alimenté et porté par nous tous et par les groupes que nous représentons. Nous nous sommes battus pour plus d'ambition. À présent, nous nous donnons pour plus d'action ensemble. Au nom de l'Organisation des Nations Unies, merci de nous joindre à nous dans cette mission vitale.